our pet project was probably our web series. Um, we have a web series that, which is where we start writing together, called Don't Try This At Home, which is just little three minute episodes just about us just giving each other crap, basically, and niggling about things about living together that may or may not be easy to live with. Um, went in and spoke to Katie, because I knew that I would need her help, and said, hey, do you want to write a movie? Like, like you're trying to t get me to do it again. In six weeks. <laughs> and she, trying to get me to do it again. And she said right yes. And we, so yeah, so we wrote a point, we wrote a draft in like, you know, very, very fast, first draft. Um, and so kind of went with what we knew and stuff, we, stuff that we wanted, you know, maybe were interested in from that we'd established for the web series. Is any good couple of projects starts with a lie and a time table, right? Exactly. Yeah. Time pressure. Yeah. It's the only way we get anything done. Works every time. Yeah. Yeah, he has to lie to me a lot when we're doing this. He has to lie to me a lot. Oh, wow, it's going really well. Uh, we're just going to shoot that scene completely over. <laughs> we haven't actually talked about that much yet. It's like direct, like working with each other on set. It's always sort of been about it. Most of us stuff we've talked about so far has been about the writing, writing it together. We laid the foundation with the writing and we did we fought most of the fights when we had the writing. Do you know what I mean? We yeah. talked out yeah, most of the stuff year. that needed to be talked out. So when we got on the set we both already knew where we were headed. And there was still stuff that made it into the script that either he or I was like, Okay, this is not my favorite thing, but I understand why it serves this story where one of us was really like, No, this has to be here, this has to be said this way and the other one's like, Oh, it makes me uncomfortable or it or it freaks me out or I just, I'm not, you know, mostly it was it makes me uncomfortable or that scares me. And the other one's like, it's okay, it's, you know, we're doing it. And so that stuff all was still there. But there was, um, it was a united kind of effort to, to make the movie the best that we felt it could be. And within that, there was not a lot left to fight about, to argue about. We just, like, it was a real team effort. Except for, like, one day when he needed me to be very angry. And so he just was pushing my buttons for an entire day. By the end of it, I, I had screamed at him to get out so we could just shoot it. Like, as if he was on... But that's the he, he was extra, like, we didn't need him. He was like, get out of here, we're shooting a scene! It's just hot. But that was one of the things that I appreciated about the script, was it's not, oh, this is just a comedy and we're gonna laugh with you. You had some really serious elements in there. Yeah, I, mean, I appreciate you saying that, um, because I think that was very conscious of us and we're really lucky. It's great when people, when that's what resonates. Because um, it's not just a strict rom-com, it's not just a strict comedy that, you know, the dra I think the dramedy genre title is appropriate and um, we really did want to deal with that stuff um, and we wanted to deal with it as authentically as we could and, and so stuff like prescription medication, not make it like a a punchline or a, like a ja or, or a dramatic theme. It's just there. It's just you're living with it. The film lives with it just as Elliot lives with it. It's there at the beginning and it's there at the end. The thing we tried to do was create... Um, we didn't want to make a judgment call and focusing entirely on that may have felt like that. We didn't want to make a judgment about, about prescription medication, right. about the good or the bad or the evil of whatever it is. Comedians on the whole generally sort of renowned as these are the most miserable, smile laughing people. <laughs> yeah, torture. I had a friend of mine who's a comic who had said once that he was he was just smart enough to be miserable. And I think the thing about comedians is they notice things, they analyze everything, and they're really paying attention, and that can be really miserable. But the other thing about that is that everything they talk about, the things they make jokes about, are universal. Comedians generally have such a sh a sharp and like them I feel like their minds are just you know there's this thing going around and nothing is certain and it's also the hardest I think it's the hardest thing you can do in the artistic world or performance world I don't know what is more raw more exposing more reliant on just you and these guys are getting up and girls get out every night doing that stuff.